In Yemen, tens of thousands of people rallied in the streets of Taiz, Yemen's second largest city, Thursday, protesting the collapse of Yemen's economy and the U.S. backed Saudi led bombing campaign. Three quarters of Yemenis, some 22 million people, are dependent on international aid, with an estimated 8.4 million people on the brink of starvation. This is protester Shahab Mohammed. We are starving and our children are dying. The cities are under siege and there's unemployment. We want to tell the regime and the Saudi-led coalition that when hunger is the engine for these people, discussions, negotiations and treaties collapse, and the only solution is immediately supplying a loaf of bread. Thursday's protest came as the head of a team of U.N. investigators accused Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates of interfering with his investigation. Kamel Jandoubi says all sides in Yemen's conflict have committed human rights abuses, with the U.S.-backed Saudi-led coalition responsible for war crimes, including widespread arbitrary detention, rape, torture and the conscription of children as young as eight years old. In August, Republican Senator Richard Shelby of Alabama blocked an amendment by Connecticut Democrat Chris Murphy that would have cut off U.S. taxpayer support for the Saudi-led war in Yemen.